Dear friends, I will start with a few words of thank you. Of course, first, Andrei Plenkovich for hosting this wonderful Congress. I think it's great for all of us to get together, to meet one another, uh, to exchange ideas, and to recharge our batteries. Uh, secondly, Chers Joseph, I have worked uh, with you since 2009 when I, as a young uh, politician, came into the European Parliament. You were the group leader. After the passing of Wilfred Martens, you, you, you took over uh, the presidency of the EPP, and under Joseph's leadership, he has helped to forge us into a true united force in Europe, and thank you very much for that. We live uh, in a rather difficult time. European politics are very divided. They're fragmented. And the question is, what is the role of the EPP? I'll take my country as an example. My country also, as the last elections, seven parties elected into the parliament very difficult to form any government. In the end, I formed a government with, in the total, five political parties. And that means that I am leading my government in rather difficult circumstances. But it's the same as what the EPP has to do. We have difficult circumstances, but we have to take the lead, because there is no one else uh, who is able to take the lead. Now, our new uh, Commission President, and I wish her all the best, Ursula von der Leyen, has proposed, I think, an ambitious and a very good program. So there's strengthening of the single market. Of course, the digital economy is, I see, part of the single market. We have security issues, and we have climate issues. I'm going to speak only a little bit on one of these issues, the issue of climate. Now, we have to take as a fact that the world has changed. Climate change is a real problem. Our citizens expect that we, as politicians, propose solutions. We cannot avoid this, and we have to rise up to the challenge. Now, it really is a question of how this will be done. Up until now, the common assumption has been, well, if there are climate issues, we have the Greens. The Greens deal with environmental policy. This would be their issue. But there's a difficulty in this kind of thinking, that to overcome the challenge of global warming, we have to move in a responsible manner that creates a green transition but does not leave industry behind and create massive unemployment in Europe. If the Greens and the left take this initiative, we run the risk of having a transition which will not necessarily take into account the interests of European industry and the issue of jobs. If we, as the EPP, take up this challenge, we can do this in a very responsible and a very balanced manner. Now, I know from many years of working in the European Parliament that our political family has members coming from various countries that have differing views and understandings of what it is that we need to do in terms of climate policy. But I am convinced if we keep the focus that we have to make the transition, and if we stay united as a political family, we will be able to make this transition in a responsible manner. Once again, fragmented European politics is a fact. Once again, climate change and this challenge is a fact that must be addressed and overcome. The only question is, who will take the lead? Colleagues, 
I say that it is in our interests, in our responsibility, and it is in our ability to take the lead in difficult circumstances, to lead Europe and our industry and our citizens to make a transition from a fossil burning economy to a green economy. Let us not let down this challenge. Let us not be afraid to take on the responsibility. Thank you very much.